All right, today we're going to talk about Mini GPT-4. It's a very interesting project. They align the vision transformer and the language model using very limited resources. So what it is this? Uh, the title is Enhancing Vision. So it basically demonstrates the very advanced multi-model abilities. And it uses the Mini GPT. Mini GPT is just use the frozen vision transformers and uh, a language model and use train one la linear layer to align both of these models. GPT-4 has a very amazing ability in terms of uh, explaining image or uh, doing some description for the image. And kind of uh, emerging capabilities includes uh, story, poem, writing, problem solving, and also some cooking instructions, which is uh, very common for the research data sets. And it's advanced uh, capabilities attributed to advanced large language model use. So it aligns the language model called uh, Vicuna. It's uh, like Opaka-like model. As for its computational cost, it's extremely low. It's, com it's very computational efficient. The trend, the tr linear projection layers with just a 5 million image and the text pairs, which is considered very little to align these two big models and uh, also with 3500 created text image pairs. So this is a model architecture, Q-former, vision transformer, and a linear layer and the language model. They kind of train this linear layer to align these two models. Align these two models is the most important thing and they don't, you don't want to train from scratch uh, using this just a 5 million. Uh, image text pairs. So if you tell it, you design a mux and ask it to write an advertisement for it, it will write it for you. You just based on your image input and uh, your text prompt. Pretty amazing. Or you give it a mockup, a joke website and content of joke one, punchline one. Even just to tell this to tell this model to do it, it will write your HTML with a real joke. With a real joke. Don't if you compile this HTML, this is a website, a joke website. And today's joke, why did the Tomato run red because he sold the salad dressing. Uh, this is a very funny joke. Uh, I mean, this is a crazy joke because I remember f two th two months ago I asked ChatGPT to tell me a joke. He always tell me the same joke, which is this joke. And this model is like using the Opaka data, so it's probably why he learned something from ChatGPT. He has to always tell us this kind of same joke exact same joke and uh, if you ask it to write an advertisement for these it will also write are the very realistic and uh, reasonable advertisement for that you can even ask it to e explain memes explain why this meme is funny on monday and just monday right so they would just tell this 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 meme is funny because it shows a dog lying on the floor i which i don't think it's easy to explain why a meme is funny but at least it try all right so if you want to use this model they even provide you a pre-trained model pre-trained checkpoints you can just find it here and just follow this process i believe you can do a local demo you can play around by yourself all right that's today's content if you would like to receive more ai deep learning related content like this don't forget to give this channel support by subscribing yet for receiving more other than that take care and i will see you next time